Bruce. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> my friends told me to come up here and just say thank you very much and drop the mic, but there's no mic to drop. So I can't do that. I don't have to tell you guys I am super nervous because some of the biggest, brightest, and most important people in radio are out there listening to me, so I feel like I'm going to give one mother of an air check session <laughs> tomorrow. Please don't email it, please. <laughs> uh, Paul Shad, Hall of Famer, told me I need to get the thank yous out of the way first so I don't forget, so I'm going to do that first. Obviously, thank you to the CRS and uh, all of the CRB people. Um, you have made this experience incredible. I feel like Cinderella. Did you see my shoes? <laughs> Feels weird not to be wearing boots and sweatpants. So. Um, big happy birthday to my dad, Marvin. <laughs> he is at home tonight. We wanted to be safe because of COVID. He's celebrating his 90th birthday. So, Dad. Um, I have the most amazing parents, my mom and dad, Marvin and Audrey. I just wanted to thank them. They have always supported me in everything that I've done, even when I decided not to go into the family business and train horses. I left that to my amazing sister, Amanda, who is here. Thank you. Um, and, and they just always supported me. They taught me the values that I think are what have helped me get here and helped me be a success on the radio, and that is faith, hope, and love. Um, I also want to say thank you to my iHeart Atlanta family that came on the back here. I love you guys very much. Um, but I have lots of radio families because through the wonders of uh, radio and iHeart Radio, I'm on the air a lot of places. So, uh, KVAT Austin, my Austin posse's here, and I am so proud to be in the class of 2021 with Bob Pickett. Um, I'm on the air with it's a double for payback tonight. All right. <laughs> also, um, I do want to say thank you to some people. Um, Meg and Bruce kind of hit on it, but Brian Michael and Lance Houston, I have to thank you. Um, you believed in me and asked me to come to Atlanta, um, and it was a game changer. And I just appreciate you so much for having that confidence in me that I really didn't have at the time. I remember going, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do that? Meg and Bruce, um, the reason I selected you to introduce me tonight is because you both came into my life at times where I was very discouraged and I thought I should just hang up my headphones and do something else and you wouldn't let me. And you gave me confidence and courage and I honestly would not be standing here if it weren't for the both of you, so thank you very much. Thank you, um, thank you to all of my listeners and social media followers. You really are the reason that I get up out of bed and get behind the radio mic because you're what makes my day different and worthwhile. And I also um, want to thank anybody who ever voted for me for a trophy. Because I don't know if you noticed, but I like trophies. <laughs> uh, like Buzz said, it has been a really wild ride. I mean, literally. I've ridden horses, donkeys, and camels. I've ridden every amusement carnival ride you could possibly think of. I've driven NASCARs, drag cars, go-karts, lawnmowers, tractors. I have broadcast from helicopters and airplanes. I even just recently judged a crazy fair food contest. So, uh, you know, basically anything that the memo starts with, just let the on-air personality do it. Um, iHeart has given me such a privilege to be on the air coast to coast, and it's also afforded me to meet so many amazing people. Artists like Kenny Chesney, Eric Church, and Keith Urban came by and did conference room concerts. For me, I was not the one that made him go into the meeting. But uh, they went on to become Entertainers of the Year, and that's just such a great thing to be able to be at the beginning of those artists' careers and spread their music to the world. I have to thank God for all the blessings that I have, and there are a ton. 
Uh, I have a Bible verse that is on my board that says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. I chose that one because uh, anybody in radio knows if you think you understand radio, tomorrow it's going to change. So you have to keep moving and keep going forward like uh, cards to CDs. Now I can do my show from my hotel room. Say your name. Don't say your name. Use the point. Don't use the point. Positioning statement. Don't use the positioning statement. You guys are exhausting. <laughs> Um, but there actually have been challenges. I've had a lot of people since I found out I was being inducted. They asked me what it feels like to be a woman in radio. And I just have to take this opportunity to be completely honest that there have been a lot of challenges. And I wish that it were as easy as we make it look on social media. But, you know, we, we've had struggles. I've had people tell me that middays weren't as important, that women can't host a show by themselves and that women just aren't as good at doing endorsements as men. But tonight, Heather and Angie are going into the Hall of Fame. So I want to thank those ladies who led the charge and got us here today. And I hope that as Heather and I go into the Hall of Fame, we can help the next generation like Double L, who, that girl needs to slow down. <laughs> I am not done yet. She can have the lane when I'm finished, but I love, I love Double L. Uh, <laughs> and I'm also, I'm just really proud that the list of women in our industry now is so long that I can't name them all up here. So I just want to thank that. I, I, I do want to say real quickly, and I'm almost done, um, I think, you know, you know how we always talk about our girlfriends? Well, every woman in radio has got those women that they talk to. Uh, for me, I've been in two markets my whole career, uh, Atlanta and Greensboro. In Atlanta, it's Kristen Gates, who's on our morning show. And uh, in Greensboro, it was Laura Songster. And she is here tonight. And I want to brag on her for a second, because she wasn't smart enough to get into country radio. She's on another format, and uh, it's a format that doesn't have a, a great organization like this to champion their on-air personalities. So this lady right here has been on the air for 35 years in the same market on the same radio station. She started as a copywriter, and she kicks ass over there right now. <laughs> um, also, I want to thank the broadcast companies who are working so hard to champion women. iHeart does a fantastic job for us, and I know the others are trying really hard and doing it well, so thank you so much. As uh, Bruce mentioned, my mentor in radio uh, was Big Paul Franklin, so I want to dedicate this to him tonight because he was taken from us way too soon. And I cannot even repeat him. What I really love is the look on everyone's face because you think I forgot to thank my husband. <laughs> <laughs> but I say the best for last. Um, Tim, you always tell me that it's fun to walk around in Angie Ward's shadow. <laughs> and even though he's Tim Satterfield, whenever we're at a show, he just tells everyone he's Mr. Ward because it's easier. But I want you to know that my shadow wouldn't be as big as it is if you weren't always throwing gas on the fire and making the flames so bright. So thank you and I love you. You've always put my career first and I love you and I didn't forget you. So. I wanted to explain my walk up song because I know a lot of people were like, what? No George Strait, what happened? Um, when I was in college, I had Robert Frost, The Road Less Traveled on my mirror. And every time I would get discouraged and thought I had made the wrong choice in getting into radio and not doing the family business, I would read this. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in the wood and I took the one less traveled. And that has made all the difference. I'm very glad I took that road. I am so proud to be part of country radio. I hope that being behind the microphone I have changed someone's life with something I've said. I want to thank Country Radio, all of you who have helped me that I look out here, and there's so many of you I've had phone calls to and I've talked to. You. And most of all, thank you, Country Music. And Meg, 
I'm Angie freaking Moore. <laughs> <laughs>